Son of a bitch. So, uh, my dog won't shut the fuck up. Stevie. <clears throat> She's upset. Because I'm upset. My dogs get upset when I'm upset. <sighs> we didn't get the space. But we did get a space. And I'm pretty pumped. So the other space, it's kind of a blessing that we didn't get it. Because the first time around, I... Uh, it's no secret. I spent money that I probably should have saved. I mean, you know, I wanted to grow. And I really thought that a big studio would be what attracted people to, to the service. And that just wasn't a case. It was us. Um, and we're not better than anyone else. But <clears throat> um, I will say that we work harder than most. We're, like, really transparent with our customers and you know we treat them as equals you know everything's subjective uh you know like getting people to pay attention to you and i think that's what matters most because you're like in a sea of people all trying to do the same thing right so let's get tighter so how do you stand out there's a lot of good people but you know you might be one of them so how do you stand out above everyone else that's just as good if not better me and Christina had no life, and we spent our lives trying to make the lives of our customers better. You know, we offered so much for, like, such a little price. We definitely didn't charge what we should have. And, you know, sometimes the work would suffer. And we filmed, like, I think on average every other day. And it's hard when you have so many people that are filming. You know, and I, I think there is pressure on people to have a script every month. And it sounds like there's enough time, but when you have that pressure of knowing that you have to write something, you know, I don't think that's the best way to be creative. So before we offered filming in the membership, we actually filmed more, and they looked really good. We started posting them um, <clears throat> on the Facebook page. Um, but, you know, like we were just like you, you know, you, you let's say you produce your own demo reel, and your least concern should be like the quality. You shouldn't worry about your demo reel if it looks low budget. I mean, look, what if you don't have any money? What matters most is you performing. And that's kind of what we always believe. So we didn't, like, we knew the sound might be a little bit off or we knew, like, the, the lighting might be, like, fucked up. Lighting might be fucked up. But what we did was we would, like, write projects together with members and we would write something that, like, fit you. That was, like, perfect for, for that actor. That, I think, is far more valuable than, like, shooting on the red or making sure your demo reel looks like it's from a TV show. Like, that's crazy to me. The whole reason that we took a little break is so we can film more, and we did, and it was great, but I wasn't filming the stuff I wanted to, so I kind of missed doing this. Uh, so I just quit my job and said, fuck it, and here we are. So um, it's just going to be self-tapes and, and practice auditions. Uh, a lot of people like to come around last time and just practice on camera, uh, and then you got a copy of it. So we'll still do that, and that'll be like every day. And then self tapes, they're like whenever you want them. Um, and then we're gonna do like a writer's room and like really sit down together and like write scripts that we can actually shoot and write scripts that like make sense for you. All right, you know every time I get a new office, I get a tattoo. So tomorrow might be a tattoo day. Heading out to meet Denise Glass. Uh, she was really cool and kind enough to ask me to be in one of her videos. So I'm gonna go do that right now. But first, I'm gonna see if I can get this drone shot of me leaving my parking space. See if it works. What we do here is go back, 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 back. I just got to Starbucks. Denise, I'm excited that you asked me, but I feel stupid doing it in a Starbucks. You're a much stronger person than I am. I'm excited. Thanks, Denise. I guess I'll see you in like two minutes.
you're gonna eat it. It's good. I cut you off. He cut me off and I was just saying thank you TCDC as always. Christina, we love you and I miss you and maybe sometime you can do snack chat with me. I think that's an invitation, Christina. I uh, came back to the space that I went to yesterday in Studio City so I can show Christina. The space is uh, pretty perfect, so. But like I said, the nicer the space, the harder it's gonna be to get in. So we have this whole parking lot, maybe. Can we see in that window right there? Is this it? Yeah. This is one of them. One of them? Oh, one of like them. Like one of the rooms. Can't get, can't see in, huh? Uh, I don't know. So see what I mean by porch? Like we have, so this oh no, I'm sorry, it's not this. This is somebody else, oh. but she's never here. We'd have this one right here. So what's up there? Somebody else? Yeah, somebody else. So this would be it? Yep. So if I like try and open this, no one's going to do it. Oh no, I don't think it's open. Yeah, it's yeah. And then this would be where they came up, right here. So, can, like, take it down here, yeah, we could put this. a little sign right here. Uh, so that other building is right there, that passing thing. So it's sort of connected. It's pretty cool though, right? So what I meant by porch, it's more like a, I meant more like a stoop. So we have this and that up there. But this place is cool, right? Um, we have this little stoop right here. It's a great area. Studio City. A lot of bars and restaurants and all that kind of stuff. It's walking distance. Coffee shops. There's a